on a map. Police called the June 7th murder of Edward C., an up-and-coming Annapolis rapper known as Trey the Kid, a senseless crime. They also revealed this. At this point, we don't really know who was the target or what was the target, but we don't believe that Trey the Kid himself was the target. But police have arrested James Davis III of Baltimore in connection with the crime. At this point, we don't have any information to say or to corroborate that that the victim and the suspect that was arrested um, know each other. Investigators say someone fired multiple shots into C's car June 7th as he drove along Forest Drive near South Cherry Grove Avenue in Annapolis. The car crashed and police found C shot in the head. There was a passenger in the car who told investigators about another vehicle. According to a court charging document, the witness observed a silver Honda traveling next to Mr. C's car as the shots were being fired at them. The witness identified the driver and also told police he had been in an altercation with the suspect at a different location after the shooting. Police arrested Davis Thursday. He's charged with first and second degree murder, a gun violation and reckless endangerment. Court information shows he had been convicted in Prince George's County in 2006 of second degree murder. He was 17 when that crime was committed. He received a 25 year sentence. That sentence was modified to 20 years in 2012. The victim's mother supported the modification. He was released on parole in April 2018. Oh, C's family and friends showed their love, holding a vigil to remember him. Police say community support, witnesses coming forward, surveillance video that captured the altercation involving a witness, and help from other police agencies led to the arrest. The Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services says that Davis had been compliant with his parole responsibilities. Annapolis police say all of this is still under investigation. Reporting live from Glen Barney, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.